The Kone Jump Lift 800 moves up with the building construction, enabling construction time use in phases. The number of phases depends on the height of the building and builder's logistical needs. The installation can begin once the building's core has reached the height planned for the first section. First, the builder installs the weather deck and working deck inside one of the elevator shafts. This seals the shaft, keeping it clean and dry. Kone fitters installed the protection deck from the working deck. The protection deck protects the lower part of the shaft from any possible falling objects. Once the protection deck is installed, the working deck is removed and the jump lift installation can start. The elevator itself is installed according to the standard Kone Monospace elevator installation method. First, the buffers, lower guide rails, counterweight, elevator sling and car are assembled at the bottom of the pit. The elevator car is then used as an installation platform. It moves upwards with the help of the main riding hoist, the guide rails, landing doors, and other shaft components are installed along the length of the shaft. While the elevator is installed in the lower part of the shaft, the building construction can continue as normal above. A dedicated multi-hole guide rail is installed through the holes in the protection deck. This allows the guide rail installation process to proceed smoothly and the Kone Echo Disc hoisting machine to be installed at the correct height in the shaft. After this, the ropes, electronics, and power supply are installed. Then the elevator is inspected before being handed over to the builder for construction time use in the lower part of the building. A new section of the shaft can now be isolated. Another set of working and protection decks are installed to protect the new working area below. A dedicated moving installation platform is assembled above the lower protection deck so that the elevator installation can continue in the second section. The guide rails and landing doors are installed in the new section from the installation platform. Once the installation reaches the upper protection deck, the installation process stops temporarily. The installation platform and the lower protection deck are dismantled. The ropes are removed and the hoisting motor and power supply are moved to the top of the second section. New, longer hoisting ropes are installed and the electrification is relocated so that the elevator can travel along the full height of the shaft. The elevator then undergoes a final inspection before being handed over to the builder for construction time use in the completed sections. This process of installing the construction time use elevator in sections can be repeated as many times as the project requires. It is recommended to install jump lift 800s in pairs so that one elevator can be used for transporting materials and the other for transporting people, which further improves site logistics flows. The main benefits of the Kone jump lift 800 are Elevators are available for construction time use much earlier than with traditional installation methods. Construction time use coverage can be extended as the building rises higher. Construction schedules are shortened, meaning the building can start delivering a return on investment sooner and supports parallel construction methods.